Really, thank you so much. Until tomorrow. I hope we can see each other at school. That's not what I'm talking about. I asked how you got that bruise on your hand. Ah! Ah! The evening glow finally got to a point where I could see the other concealed oval-shaped bruises and traces of swelling on her neck and her legs and other places too. I fell down the stairs. <laughs> the very moment my violent rampaging emotions were about to burst away to, out of my throat, I found my mouth being tightly clamped down on. <laughs> Coach was pressing down on my mouth from behind, wrapping around me tightly with his hands. Because of that, I couldn't say anything. I could only groan, which I did. <laughs> I wrung absolutely everything out of myself. Even having lost my voice, I was still wringing it all out. How you feel? I really do, my Barasan. Please, please just endure it for now. Please, I'm asking you, my Barasan. Endure it for now? And then what, huh? What would happen to her? To Satoko? Her body and mind were wounded, and she was being made to suffer like this. Can you not even. even let me howl in vain at it? Is that it, coach? Are we this powerless? So powerless that we can't even fucking scream to the bottom of our hearts. The voices of the Higurashi made me calm down. I didn't know how long it had been. Satoko abruptly gave a slight bow. Thank you very much, Kichi-san. Satoko. You looked a lot like my real Nini just now. My real Nini may not be here anymore, but I have another Nini named kichi -san. Yeah, you got it. I'm your Nini. Gosling. And when you're in pain, I'll help you no matter what. Your Nini will rescue you for sure. Satoshi Hojo, you fucking idiot. If not now, then when? Satoko, she's never been in more pain in her life. If Renini doesn't save her now, then when, when will he? Why did you run away? Why did you abandon her? Why did you leave Satoko behind? You don't have any right to call yourself Satoko's Nini. I... I won't run away. Huh? I definitely won't run away. I won't run away and abandon you like Satoshi did. No way! I will not abandon you. Slip. Tears trickled down from Satoko's eyes. And then she narrowed her eyes into a smile. Goodbye, Nini. Satoko took her right hand and awkwardly waved to me. I'll be all right. My... My Nini now... Help me... Help me so much. So I'll be okay. I'll do my best. Until tomorrow. I'll be okay. So... For today... This is... Goodbye. There was no way I thought I could say bye see you tomorrow. And then... From inside the house... Came a throaty, disgusting voice. Satoko! Could you bring us the snacks already? Okay, Nini. Get going already. I'll be fine now. Hurry. Let's go, my Barasan. Staying any longer than this would be a bother to Satoko town. Coach, Nini's house is a little far away. I'm sorry to ask you this, but. Could you take him home? Yes, I'll do that. 
Coach grabbed me by my collar, and with strength I couldn't have imagined him having, started dragging me away. And I, unable to oppose him, started getting farther away from Satoko. She waved her hand to us, expression still dark, and disappeared through the back door. <laughs>